What we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to enter credit purchase transactions into WAVE. And credit purchase transactions are entered like bills. But before we can do this, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to add some nominal accounts to the general ledger. And we're going to also have to set up vendors for the payables ledger. And we're also going to have to set up sales tax rates. Then after that, we're going to enter purchase invoices and purchase credit notes. Now, if you want to follow along, hop along to my website and you can download this PDF, which has all the details of the transactions that you need to enter and the uh, general ledger and vendor accounts that you need to set up. So if we log back into WAVE, and you remember WAVE from the previous lesson, and we set up Jake's Palace as our business. So what we need to do first is we need to add these following nominal accounts to the general ledger. Now to add nominal accounts you do this in accounting. So we click on the accounting and we are going to, we scroll over here, add an account. So the first account that we want to add is contract services. So this would be an expense account and we would go into expenses and under services, contract services. And we can rename this then to say, because I know in advance that this is for agency staff. And select save. Now you'll see later on in a minute why this is agency staff. Purchases for food and beverages, we also add, need to add another account. And this time it's going to be a cost of goods sold. And it's given us a recommended purchases for food and beverages. So we'll select that and we'll also select save. Now by doing so, these new accounts are now on our trial balance. Purchases, food and beverages is there and our contract services is also in there for our agency staff. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up some vendors. So these are our actual suppliers. So if we go back to our dashboard and if we select settings and if we select vendors. And I'm going to show you how to add a vendor and you're then going to go ahead, I'll add the first one and you're then going to go ahead and you're going to add the second, third and fourth vendors. So if we select add vendor and it's asking us for our vendor name so we can say clean galore and the email address is, we don't have it, we don't have and our currency is euro. Now let's add some additional information like we can add in the address so it's 27 walk view way X road north please and hit save but we can add in all the other details phone number account number and so forth into this now you will most likely add an account number because ident account numbers are great for classification and again if you've watched my videos on the professional bookkeeping and accounting courses that I have. I've gone into detail about account codes and account numbers. So they can all be set up within adding your vendor. So once you've added in your vendor, you can select save and your vendor has then been added to the list. Now I want you to go ahead now and add in the rest of the vendors. And when you have them all set up, they'd be just sitting there in a list like that in your vendors list. So now we need to enter in these sales tax rates. And again, we can do this from our settings. And over here we have sales tax. And I'm going to click sales tax and I'm going to select add a sales tax. So the first sales tax name is 20% purchase resale. And it is for purchases that are resold. Our tax number we'd add it in here if we want to show our tax number is this recoverable yes and the percentage is 20% and hit save. Now we can add another sales tax so I want you to go ahead and add the other sales taxes and when you have all your sales taxes in they be sitting in a list there under your sales taxes. 
So what we're going to do next now is we're going to enter the purchase invoices and credits into WAVE. And our first invoice is from a company called Drinks Inc. And we can see the details. We've received some bottles of Coke and wine. We have rates, we have quantities, we have the value. We have some trade discount. We have a net total, we have sales tax and gross. And we don't get any settlement discount and we have to pay this invoice 30 days end of month. So let's go to bills in WAVE. And what we're gonna do is we're going to create a bill. So the vendor that we need to choose is Drinks Inc. And the currency is Euro. The date is going to be the 6th of January. The due date is 30 days end of month. So the due date is going to be the end of February. Our purchase order is L251-15. We can add a bill number, which is the invoice number. And if we have any particular notes on the invoice, we can add them here. Now, what we can do now is we need to, if we have items or products set up, and back in our settings, you can set up products and you can also set them up directly from here. You could, for analysis, add in bottles of Coke and bottles of wine as your products. But we're not going to add products. We're just going to choose a category. And the expense item that we're going to choose is purchases, food and beverages. And in this case, it's going to be bottles of Coke for our description. Our quantity is 500. Our price is 57. Now our sales tax, we're going to have sales tax on this as well. Now because our sales tax is counted here, we need to account for our trade discount as well with sales tax on it. And we can do that separately. Now this is a purchase for resale at 20%. And we can now go over and add another line. Again, if we select purchases for resale, we're going to put in bottles of wine. Our quantity is 175 at 620, and we're putting in 20% purchase resale again. And now this time we're going to add a line, and this time we're going to choose again purchases for resale on beverages. It is discount, quantity is minus one, and our price is 27. 40 and we do have our sales tax on this and we can see now that we have accounted for our purchases we have accounted for our trade discount and we've also accounted for our sales tax and we have a total invoice now once all these details are in we can press save success successfully created a bill and we can continue on to add our next bill. So if we scroll down in our PDF, we will see that our next bill is actually a credit note. And it's a credit note from Drinks Inc. Our date is the 10th of January. So that means our due date, which is 30 days from month to end, will be the end of February. Our purchase order is L251-15. Our bill number is JAN0053. We have no notes. And our expense account is going to be purchases for beverages. Our description is going to be overcharge on Coke. Now our quantity, because this is a credit note, so we need to put in a minus quantity for our credit note, and it's 0.57, and our tax is the 20%. And then we can add another line for our discount. And again, it is purchases on food and beverage. It's our trade discount. And we're decreasing the value of the credit note with this. So in this case, it's a plus one. And it is 114. And we need to account for our sales tax. And we can see our credit note is coming in at 6703 just as our credit note is coming in here in our PDF. So we need to now hit save. We now have a list here in our bills of any bills that we have recorded in WAVE. And what I want you to do now is I want you to go down through the rest of the 
invoices and credit notes that are in the PDF and I want you to enter them into WAVE. When you have the full list entered, come back, pause the video now, come back and I will show you what to do next. So now that you have entered all of your bills, if you need to search through the, under bills, you can search by vendors and you can pull in to and from dates. Now, if we go back to our dashboard, what we'll see in our dashboard is that we now have a list of overdue bills. Now the list, these are showing up as overdue because my date of recording is after January, the date that we put these in. So these are showing up as overdue at the moment. We also have a financial snapshot that's beginning to grow and we can see that our purchases for the month of January are easily coming to 3,500. Now we can also see what we have coming due to us, what we have to pay. And we have a snapshot of our income statement and a breakdown of our business expenses down here. Now if we go into our reports, and in our reports, what we can do now is we can look at expense report by vendor and we can also run our age payables report. And our age payables report will give us a breakdown of our invoices according to how old the purchase invoice actually is. And we can say update if we need to update if we change the date and we can export this or print this if we need to. So every bookkeeper should be able to produce an age payables report. Now it looks like we may have entered in the date for the mobile connect invoice wrong ourselves here. That's something I'll have to go back and check. So don't forget, if you want to download the PDF so you can practice along with these tutorials because we will have a series of these and they will be all free and available to you on YouTube. So if you want to practice along, hop over to our website and download the PDF. Don't forget as well to give a thumbs up and like the video. And I hope to see you in the next tutorial.